Okay, so this tutorial is going to cover the application of uh, an image onto a surface for rendering purposes, uh, and particularly that if you have something that's sort of transforming or if you have something complex that you want it to be mapped onto, you can do that really easily. Uh, in Rhino, export that as a 3DS file uh, and then import that into Studio Max and then relink the, uh, the image back into the software. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this. This is a, an image by uh, Conrad Rosset. Uh, just through not caught, found this guy, uh, found the image compelling, did a quick Google search and found this image uh, for our use here. So uh, we're going to need to know some general things about this, what are the general proportions. Uh, the higher the resolution of the image, the better. Um, this is looks like a roughly, uh, looks like golden section right here, so that's about uh, square and then over here. Um, so we're, I'm going to guess probably um, 1.5 to, to 2 on our proportion. That becomes important because um, when we use the material maps, it's going to actually um, come in here and... Oops. So whenever you draw the surface, we can come in here and I'm just going to approximate that. That looks roughly about right. Uh, and so we can, right now, we can immediately map onto this. Now, however you model the software, the surface on this guy um, is up to you. So we can come in here and I'll just, I'm just going to use the bend function. So we'll bend that. We'll bend it again. So you guys are going to end up with some kind of complex geometry, uh, should you like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'll just rotate this into place. Okay, and so say that's uh, what you're wanting this image to be projected onto for your wall or whatever it is you're projecting onto. Uh, so we go under material, under layer, and we go to object. Uh, if we scroll down here, there's a, an opportunity to apply a texture map. We click assign, go to our desktop, find our file. Okay, and so now that's been actually applied to that, and so now if we hit render, you can see that that image has now been applied to that surface. Okay, and so as we orbit around, if we render that again, it's going to give us a different vantage point. So that's very, very quick, very, very simple way to do that in Rhino. So now what we want to do is we want to get that into Studio Max, right? So we do type export, and we're going to go to. I'll just throw this on the desktop for now. 3ds, and we'll call this. Uh, Projection Conrad Rosset. Crap. Hit save. We'll just regular number of polygons. Okay, so now that we're in Studio MX, we can go in and import the file here. So, file import. We're going to go ahead and completely merge the scene. And we don't want to mess with our timeline, so now you can go ahead and see this guy. Our uh, geometry has been set up and in here. And so now, if we go into the rendering, render setup, hit render, it's going to pop up and it's going to error out. And it's because our image that we had is associated with the JPEG is no longer associated with it. So we hit browse and add. We can go in and under desktop, since that's where I save the image, we can scroll down and we just need to find that JPEG. We'll go by type. There it is. So we'll go ahead and select that. So we hit OK. Continue. And you can see that it's automatically attached itself to that. Alright. So you guys, that's a really, really simple way of going about that. Uh, something you will probably have to do when you guys are doing this is that this is not... Um, the unfortunate thing about doing this in 3D um, S files is that you'll have to do a little bit of finagling with the scaling uh, to get it to sit right, and you'll have to move it around. So you'll have to massage it into place probably, uh, but that's really easy uh, relative to all the other stuff, okay? So that's really uh, all there is to it.